see on his chain here, he's not pulling back, he's not frightened by it. His chain's loose where he's chained up. He don't bother, good as gold. Okay, mate. Up between his legs at the front. Pull it through. Up the back. Put it up his tail. I'll stand behind him. That's how much I'll trust him. And I'll snatch it out fast as I can, yeah? Let him look forward first. Okay. And there you can see the pony 150%. Just crawl under his belly, son. I'm not standing anywhere near the horse, yeah? Horse is no shot, he could take his head off if he wanted to. Um, and that's how quiet the little fella is. Like that, yeah? Just come here, son. Pull yourself up. There he is, no bridle. You can't see where his blinkers look, but he'd step in that bucket. Come on. Can you see, look? Come on, baby, you're a good boy. That's it. There's no fear of it at all. There we go. Come on in, boy. Step on in, good man. Very willing little pony, you know, he'd go all day. Lovely for a kiddie, perhaps to start learning to drive with. She's got the experience and he's got a nice mouth. He ain't got all that, you know. And when this old car comes past here, all clear there, Mel? Uh, yeah, that's right, can see. See the old car comes past means nothing at all to him. Carries on at the same old pace. So, you know, we can show you that he'll go, you know, in the water, no trouble at all. Which is rough old bank coming down here. Well, the four wheel drives on the estate note for when they wash the bank out. Come up, babe. Go on. Get on. Right, I've just got off to show you. Harry in harness, so you can see him move from down on the ground. He's done about a mile and a half, I would say, up to this point. He's coming around the corner there. And here's a lovely free moving little pony. away on a loose rein. He never go into a full gallop or anything, he never run away with it, no rain at all on him whatsoever. I'm gonna have to pick him up in a minute. Steady leg. Oh, oh steady. Um I'm gonna have to pick him up in a minute because we've got this bend. That's the boy, good leg. He just trot away like that with nothing on him. So you know if you drop to rain or something, come on. Pick it up, good boy. I'll bring him over as close as I can engine at the back of the bus, turn his head towards it, you know, no problem at all. Um, I'm going to keep him on a slack rein, so you can see him going past, I'm not holding him, he won't fidget, he won't do anything. Just on a slack rein going down here, I'm not using the brakes at all to slow the vehicle up, nothing at all. Thank you, like coming past him. Lovely, just a good straight pony. Okay, we've just brought Harry down to um, one of the other rivers um, in Wherewell, just to show you him going in. off the road here I'll just say to you about this little fella oh my darling the 
watch you film his mouth, I'll see if I can turn his head round enough for you to see. He's had a snaffle in the old way round. And if you look at it, the way it's fixed, well, baby, you can, then, if you can see, it's on both rings. Now, if you know anything about a double ring snaffle, yeah, there is the outside ring, the outside carries the bit, i.e., the outside ring is through the bit as any conventional snaffle, yeah. The inner ring runs on the bit, it can run from one side to the other, two rings. Now you can fix the bridle to the inner rings only, that's just to hold the bit up in the horse's mouth. Obviously then you have far more um, control over the horse, or you know, uh, yeah, far more control if you only pick up the outside ring, because you're using it just as any other snaffle. If you do it in the way that we've got it done, there's a lot of pull on the nose bands. So you can understand what I mean. So what the point of what I'm saying is, is the horse is very, very soft-mouthed, um, exceptionally so.